Hey guys, how's it going? Toby here, welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel. Today we have got a squad builder for you and it's a little bit cheaper than the previous one. It's still fairly expensive, I'm not going to lie, it's around 500,000 coins. But it does feature three team of the season players and there's some of the players that I really wanted to use that I didn't use in the previous squad builder. Which is always good, now I'm not going to lie, not the craziest of hybrids. I just wanted to try out some Liege 1 and Serie A team of the season. So... Don't complain, it's not a crazy hybrid. Now, before we get started, if you're looking for a place to get some coins, check the link in the description for the fifashop.co.uk, a really awesome website. And if you use the code TOBY10, you do get a discount of every single one of your orders when you're at the checkout screen, which is always really, really good. So, this defense is it's pretty standard, but it's pretty overpowered. So, we've got Keeling, we've got Handanovic, who I think is probably the best Serie A keeper. I know... A lot of people really like Marchetti, but I think Handanovic is just, he's so, so good. Like, he's really, really decent. Obviously, the goals that pretty much no keeper will score because FIFA's sometimes broken, they're still going to go in. But the majority of decent attempts, Handanovic is probably going to save. We've got Abati and Ogbonna as well. So, a pretty overpowered Serie A defense. We've also got Carlton as well. Got him for 2,000 coins. I think he's a lot cheaper now. I think I bought him absolutely ages ago. But he's six foot, and that's something that I really, really like. It's nice to have fullbacks that are actually fairly tall and can make a bit of a difference when you need a header clearance, perhaps, on the wings, which is always good. Asamoa, a player that I don't use often, but he's so, so all-rounded. Like, he's a really good overall card. 83 pace, 76 shooting, 78 passing. He's also got good heading, good dribbling, and decent defending. You cannot ask for any more than at CDM. We've got Matuidi, 100,000 coins. I thought he'd be a lot more than that. Like, I thought maybe 200, 250, but he's ridiculous. He is so, so good. 90 defending, 86 heading. It would be amazing if he was taller, but you can't have everything. Now, on the right hand side, we have got Jimmy Briand, and this was probably the most inconsistent player. I've used in a team. Sometimes he was fantastic. He'd make these darting runs, really fantastic attacks. And then sometimes he just wouldn't be able to finish an open goal. It's it's weird. I think maybe I was a bit unlucky. But he was very, very strange to have in the team. I think you can have any Liege one right mid. In fact, you can actually have Lucas. But I kind of wanted to change it up. I've used Lucas in the last team. I wanted to change things around a little bit. We've got Jeremy Menez at centre attacking mid. I actually really like him, like, I don't know why, but I use him a lot at centre attack and mid instead of striker. It just, it works really, really well. Then we've got team of the season, Lacazette, 70,000 coins, like, that's ridiculous. I thought it'd be so much more, I thought it'd be at least 120, but 90 pace, 82 shooting, 80 heading as well. He's 5 foot 9, so I have decided to partner him up with Pogba. Now, you might be thinking, why? Go check his in-game stats on Foothead. I don't want to waste a player like Pogba at, like, CDM or something. Like, he's got 99 shot power, like, 98 finishing or something crazy. Great pace, amazing shooting, great heading. I can't waste him at CDM. He's so, so good. But, saying that, I think Lacazette actually scored the majority of my goals and Pogba was more of a poacher, which I don't have a problem with because I prefer to dribble around with the faster players and the more skillful players. So that doesn't bother me in any way, shape or form. But Pogba really was a poacher. Like, it was really cool. Like, it was nice to have a centre mid in strike and just try something a little bit different. I genuinely recommend it. Like, it was a really good setup to have someone that was so quick partnered up with someone that was actually really, really strong. It was cool and his finishing. Oh my, it's so, so good. Like, he is absolutely sublime in front of goal. And Lacazette, too, he was really, really good. But sometimes he did get a little bit unlucky. His shot power's not the best. And Lacazette is not the strongest of plays. He does sometimes get pushed off the ball. Not easily, but, like, sometimes it does happen when you're coming up against the really strong defenders. So it can happen, but he was really, really impressive. I think the biggest letdown was actually Jimmy Brion. So replace it with say Lucas and I think he might actually have a perfect team like it was so so much fun to use I actually preferred this defense to the one that I had in the previous video which was team of the season Thiago Silva and team of the season Chiellini I don't know why it just felt 
a lot easier to defend with. Maybe because I wasn't expecting like crazy things to happen and when they did slip up, I was kind of expecting it because, you know, they're fairly cheap. So it was a really, really good team. And for 500k, I think I've got to recommend it. Like Pogba really did surprise me at striker. I think he's actually probably best there. Like his stats are just so, so good. It's silly to waste it. Maybe it can be probably a really good centre forward as well in perhaps a false nine. That might be something... That I might try out in the future but that does wrap up the video I'm going to give it a 9.5 out of 10 almost perfect but not quite now if you did enjoy the video drop it a like and subscribe for some more videos for myself but take care guys have an amazing day and goodbye